Hey, Don, this week's uh, bourbon comes to us. You know, we, we could have a map of Michigan behind us instead of a map of Kentucky. It is now a Michigan release by way of Cincinnati and Washington, D.C. Find out more because this is a hot brand. Hi, right, welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, we have a very exciting bottle uh, right now. Very limited. I was only able to get, I think I got two uh, of this bottle. Uh, it is a special release from the uh, Joseph A. Magnus Whiskey Company. It's their Murray Hill Club, but this is, they, they come with a catchy name for it, Don. It's called the Special Release. Special Release. Uh, but this is uh, batch number four, and it is Asian Calvados Cast, which is... Apple brandy, basically, right? It is. It is. From My good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbon Fool, Don. From the Normandy area of France. Okay, yeah. The uh, There's a lot of World War II veterans that would remember that apple brandy, actually. I bet. I bet. Keep you warm, huh? That's right. And what's really exciting is not only the blending, but the fact that it's a blend of 8- and 17-year-old bourbons. That got my attention. Yeah. And it's released at 111 proof, which is kind of a nice sweet spot. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Mag so Magnus was a real guy. He had a whiskey empire in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, and he loved to hunt. He would hunt in northern Michigan, and he particularly liked the Odin, Michigan area. He was so much a leader in that area and a popular person that Magnus State Park in Petoskey is named after him. Really? To this day. I'll be darned. Yeah. So the Fox and Olden brand is a tribute to Olden, Michigan then, which is. is another one of their brands, correct? Right, which these are all now out of Coppercraft in Holland. Yep. And they originally, when, when the brands were resurrected, when Magnus brand was resurrected, it went to Washington, D.C., and then not too long ago, they recently moved to Michigan. Right. I remember they, it was a big deal. They were bringing it home to Michigan where it was meant to be. So, right. so there, this, like we touched on before, we got a couple different. We got an 8, a 17, and it's aged in a Calvados cast. So that right. probably explains some of the color. It's very dark, almost reddish, and uh, man, I think we should just open it. I can't wait. Point. And And I will tell you, there are a lot of people that tell me across the country that when those are released, they don't last very long. Yes, I know. It was very hard to get. So um, we've done a couple of the Fox and Olden ones, and uh, we've always been we've always been real happy with them. So well, don't, don't forget Magnus Cigar Blend. Oh, yeah, that was a great one. So I expect nothing less than this, but let's give it a shot. But like I said, the color's fantastic on this bottle. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Whoa. It is bold. Oh, yeah. Uh, really, really great underlying whiskey with that fruit, but it's not an overly sweet fruit. No. My, what comes to mind for me is intense. It's intense. Oh, I could drink a lot of this. Oh, yeah, you could. Me too. Yeah, the uh, to me, the apple doesn't really shine through, though. It's not, or it doesn't overpower, for sure. Yeah. There's a fruit. Mm-hmm. But it's not overly apple. No, uh-uh. It is um, almost like, I almost get a little bit of plum, like uh, like red fruit. Yeah, a little bit off of it, but it is it is really good. Wow, dude, that's a winner for sure. I really like that a lot. Yeah, that is really good. the The time back in the Calvados cask, I believe, is as long as six to twelve months. Really? Okay. All right. And it shows because there is a lot of flavor. There's a lot of color here. That is, 
a deep color, but when you're starting with eight and 17 year old stock sure. to start with, it is really the core whiskey is exceptional. Exactly. This is a, this is, I think, I say it's the best one, but it's the one, it's the best one I've had lately. <laughs> but that is fantastic, man. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Like great. I said, the thing that keeps coming to mind is intense. It's very, it's right in your face, man. It's just smack you in the face. Lots of flavor, lots of layers, after lots of stuff going it, After on. it opens up a little bit, there's a real nice brown sugar note off the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But again, really great flavor, not overly sweet. It, it, no. It's really a nice combination. That's a winner, Don. Charlie? Yeah. The, you keep bringing great whiskeys into Charlie's still on Maine. There's a reason people come here to drink whiskey. I, I got to make a call see if I can get more of those before they're all gone. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Come in and try this one. You won't be disappointed.